Hi, Linda Winter. Okay, hopefully you've been playing along with me for my Winter Designs Winter Giveaway. This is number four, and this is the last one this month. I'll do another one in January, another one in February, another one in March, etc. And then hopefully next December, I'll do four more as well. So I wanna show you what I've got this time. This theme, just like last year, one of my themes was Cozy in the Kitchen. This is Cozy in the Kitchen too. Cozy in the Kitchen last year gave the microwave bowl cozy template. And I've got three videos already on that. I'm gonna film another video that talks about some new things with this template. But this basket, this gift giveaway, not basket this year, last year was basket, but this giveaway is going to give you this template. But if you notice, maybe, those of you that know the microwave bowl template, there are a few more things on here. We've got additional holes. I'll talk about that a little bit later on and then I'll show you how that's done in another video. This is the original microwave bowl cozy and you can see I don't have these holes. So those holes are gonna come into play and that's gonna be kind of a neat thing. So this is a 10 and a half inch. That 10 and a half inch makes this. And for those of you that don't know what a microwave bowl cozy is, this, imagine this is a nice bowl and that you've got soup in it, you put it in the microwave, it's hot, when it comes out you burn your fingers. So we make these bowl cozies. So now this cradles the bowl. My other videos show you how to change the, the template, the darts in the template so that you can have a different size size bowl. If you look at this bowl, you can see that doesn't fit. Just like this one doesn't fit nicely in here. So my videos show you how to change the darts. That's what those holes are for. So you can have microwave bowl cozies that fit your particular bowls. I had a video that showed you how to do with the Insulbright and with the um, Temtex Peltex. So if you want it just to be a bowl that stands on it, its own, you can see how these are stiff. These really don't have a whole lot of weight to them, so they're not a great bowl by itself. Microwave safe, not microwave safe. And then in one of my videos, I showed you how to do plate warmers, plate cozies, pots and pans, separators, those kinds of things. So we'll get, we're gonna kind of talk about some of those things in this video, and in my next video, I'm gonna spend more time on that stuff, but that goes back to here. So this was 10 and a half inches. I did 10 and a half inches because that was the standard size that most everybody used out there and it worked pretty well for bowls. But in this giveaway, I'm giving you something called layer cakes. Layer cakes are 10 inches. This is from Bally and you can see all these fabrics are nice and pretty. They've got some gorgeous greens and russets and all kinds of colors. Anyway, these are 10 inches, too big for this. So I made a 10 and a half inch down to a 10 inch. You can see on just this first one how there's a little bit of fabric, a little bit of fabric, a little bit of fabric, a little bit of fabric. So this is perfect for layer cakes. That's why it's called the 10 inch layer cake. Now this is an option. If you want to get this one versus the other, it's mainly because you're doing layer cakes. Layer cakes, when you're buying fabrics that are already cut for you, they've done the pre-selection of the fabrics and the coordination of the fabrics. That's when you choose this one. If you're looking at just getting one microwave bowl template, then this is the way to go. But in this gift basket, my fourth giveaway, you're getting the 10 inch. You're getting a 10 and a half inch. And I have a new one. This says 12 and a half inches. I have a 12 inch cutting being cut. They didn't get it cut for the video. So the 12 and a half inch was just a little bit too big for your plates, for your pots, uh, pots and pans separators, for a trivet, those kinds of things. So I've got a 12 inch coming. And if you notice here too, these have the regular holes for the darts, these two, and then this one has these holes. These will have those holes. That didn't get done either. I was hoping we'd have it for the video, but it didn't get done. And again, I'll show you what those holes mean in just a little bit. So imagine 10 and a half inch, 10 inches, and 12 inches all with the correct holes, all the holes that we need. And then I'm gonna give you circles. You're gonna get two circles. This is not, not the right size circle either. They didn't get my circles cut. So you're gonna be getting two circles. We'll go through what the circles are for a little bit later on too. Okay, so you're getting those three templates for the, temp, for the microwave bowls and then you're getting the circles. Then you're getting the layer cake fabric. Because the 12 inch template fits perfectly with Tim Holtz's line of fabric. These eclectic elements, this is one of my favorite lines of fabrics. I'm giving you the 12 inch pieces also because this will line up perfectly. So when you go to cut, you'll just cut off the edges for those circles. So you're getting this with this as well. So you're getting 10 inches, you're getting 12 inches. Then you're gonna get fabric that you can for what use for whatever. This, the pasta theme here with the black and white check, that you can make a whole bunch of these to match and coordinate your kitchen. That's what my sister picked out for me to make her for Christmas this year. So those guys there are coming with it too. 
Now, if you notice, I've got potato fabric here and I've got tortilla fabric here. We'll go through that in a few minutes. And then there's flannel. Flannel that's 100% cotton is really great for the inside layer, which we'll talk about a little bit later on too. So we'll see that. Okay, we're gonna come over here and talk batting. Batting, we already know from my third video that we need 100% cotton batting. But the big thing is no scrim. Scrim is that layer of kind of like a tool that they put on top of the batting when it hasn't been pressed so that they can poke, poke, poke all those holes. And that's not 100% cotton. So we need to have cotton batting that has no scrim. So when you're shopping around for cotton batting, no scrim is what you're looking for. So what I've done is I've given you in this giveaway three different types of batting. This is what you can get at your local Joann's and this wrap and zap is a nice weight. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. But for those of you that have had problems with your sewing machine th sewing through all these layers, then I've given you a thinner batting. I don't know if you can see this weight here. It's a lot thinner than this. Hard to tell, but I can really feel the difference between this and this. And this is in my fourth video that I'm going to be doing. I'll pull this out and show you the difference there too. So I've gotten a really heavy weight batting here. Again, 100% cotton batting, no scrim. And then I've got a lightweight batting. And then in between is the wrap and zap. So you're going to get three pieces of batting to make a whole bunch of the um, microwave bowls as well. And then we got some candy, of course. I got some cherry, uh, chocolate covered cherries. I've got some um, Hershey's Kisses, a little bit different bark, um, some popcorn, and then we need thread. We've got black, we've got cream, and we've got white. Again, 100% cotton batting. Those of you that remember from last year, I gave you one of my, my dad's bowls that he turned. This year, I'm giving away one of his little goblets. And you can put in here your pins, your whatever bobbins, whatever it is you're using, or you can put the threads that I'm giving you to go in this as well. And then I've got some of these guys here for you too. So this is the giveaway that you're gonna be getting if you're my winner, all of these things. I wanna pull over my last piece of this that you're not getting these done but i want to show you why i have this fabric and what else you can do with it inside of here i don't know if you can tell but this is lumpy bumpy because it's a potato holder so this guy now can be for your potatoes when you throw these in the microwave so it is can you see that shape that is the shape of the microwave bowl cozy so if you've got a small microwave, then we're gonna use a smaller one. If you're only doing a one potato or two potato, then you can make the smaller one. If you've got a big uh, microwave and you've got a bunch of potatoes, then you can make a larger one. I'm also gonna show you in my video that if you want it to be not just flat like this with an opening, that you can put a small dart. There's the top layer. Do you see how basically I've got my two layers of the cotton fabric and then I've got a layer of cotton batting inside of there and then I did a dart. It's a finished off dart so it doesn't have those raw edges but imagine that bottom layer. We'll do this in the next video. When I stitch these together like I've done here, now I've got a little bit of a dome so that I can put more things in there. So this potato warmer is great for potatoes and corn on the cob and sweet potatoes and russet potatoes and whatever else that you want to heat up in the microwave. So I'll be showing you how to do that in my next video. So why do I have these additional holes? Let's pull this over. I'm gonna grab my fabric. You watch my other video to see how to cut. We're gonna pretend that I've got this all lined up nice and neat. We wouldn't lift this up when we do the dots. So the original intention of my microwave bowl cozy and why this has been such a big hit, everybody loves this template. Thank you very much to everybody out there that's been purchasing from me. Why this is so great is that these holes give me darts. Basically what you do is do a dot, a dot, a dot, a dot, a dot, all these dots, darts here, we're gonna do dots. Those dots give me those darts. Let's pull one of these guys over here. That gives me the dart. The dart on the top, the dart on the bottom, those are all gonna be lined up and it's the same length from here to here. It's the same width from here to here and they're always perfectly centered. So if you're making a whole bunch of these, every single one will look exactly the same. But I had several of you guys, thank you very much, that sent in emails and requests for holes going down the middle. Because originally when you did this, I had you, I had a piece of fabric over here, I had you once you cut, you basically fold it in half and then drew a line and then fold it in half diagonally and then drew a line. And that was your stitch line because when you look at these guys, you can see there's basically an X. But I had people say, hey, if you've already got the holes there, why not put dots 
for those lines. So I've got those dots and what we'll do, and again, I'll do this in more detail on the other video, we line this up. My glasses just fell on the floor so I can't see, but we're gonna pretend that I've got those lined up and we would basically draw a line and then we turn this in the other direction and we would draw a line. We stitch those first, then we stitch the darts. I'll go through this in that next video. But what that's gonna allow me to do is get that X on the bottom and the X on the top. When you use the template with the holes, that's gonna ensure that where this starts here, this X, is the same place. I can't tell if that's in the same place or not, but sometimes, not sometimes, but a lot of the times, this isn't lined up with this because when you fold it, it doesn't always give us the exact center. With the holes that are here, we're gonna have that exactly centered. So it's gonna give us just a nice, more professional look. And what does it do? It makes it nicer, better, faster, easier. It better be good, it better be fast. That's my whole thing. Everything is based on it better be good, it better be fast. So those are brand new. So again, this new template, those of you that have this template already, I'm gonna see if I can on those templates that are already in existence, these guys here, if we can take a drill press and basically drill a hole, drill a hole, drill a hole, drill a hole. So we would drill a hole. So those of you that want to do this on your templates that you've already gotten from me, it, it probably is possible just with a hand drill or a drill press to drill holes. If not, you can, you know, send me, send me the old template back and I'll send you a new one for an upgrade cost. I don't recommend doing that because you're paying for the shipping and then I'm paying for the shipping and the shipping is what really gets you and it's what really gets me. So we don't really want to probably do that. But if you see me at a trade show and you want to do that, there will be an upgrade cost. Give me your old one and I can give you a new one with the holes. But again, I'm hoping with the drill press that we'll be able to go through and just drill or with a hand drill to drill through. I'll let you know how that works out. That was supposed to be done earlier in the week and it didn't get done. So I was hoping to be able to tell you that now. So anyway, I'll film another video that shows you how to do this and how to shows you how to do the potato warmer and those kinds of things. But that's this giveaway, this last uh, Winter Designs Winter Giveaway. Okay, I wanna make a plea out there for you guys, something new. I have not done Pinterest. I have not done Instagram. I have not done Twitter. And I've had requests to do that. I want you all, when you enter this giveaway, tell me, do you do Pinterest? Do you do Instagram? Do you do uh, Twitter? And if so, then talk about me. Talk about winter designs, let people know. And if you do, and you tell me about it in the response where you add your comment on how to enter this giveaway, then if you make a purchase from me in the future, remind me that you are talking about me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, posting pictures of your finished projects and referencing them back to my Winter Designs website, I'll give you a discount on your next purchase or I'll throw in something as a freebie. So just let me know what you'd rather have. Um, I'll give you some options if you want the freebie versus if you wanted uh, the, dis uh, the discount. I really want this business to grow. I don't know what else to do out there. I'm not um, big into the social media stuff. You guys are. Please tell me what you think will work and how I can get the word out. I think I've got some good stuff. I hope you all do too. I get great comments from you all every day. Thank you so much for letting me know and giving me feedback. It keeps me going on days that I say, what am I doing having to drill holes and to cut the templates and file them down and all that stuff. So I really appreciate y'all being out there. Let me know what you think um, on the giveaway. So this giveaway, what we're gonna do for this giveaway, the rules are gonna be exactly the same, but a little bit different. You have, have to have already liked me, Winter Designs for Sewing and Quilting on Facebook. And then in this giveaway, where you see the giveaway post, add a comment, but the comment, I would love it to be, yes, I do Twitter, Linda, I'll talk about you. Yes, I do Pinterest, I'll post some pictures of my projects that I've done. Uh, yes, I do Instagram, I'll take some pictures of some things, that, or the templates in my fabric getting ready to cut, whatever it is, I don't care. Or no, I don't do Pinterest, I don't do this, I don't do that, and I don't want to, or I don't do it, but I wanna do it. Give me some feedback on whether I should go into that line of marketing and social media. It's a lot of time that I think it will take and I'm already spending a lot of my free time when I'm not doing trade shows on this business. So I wanna know if you guys think it's worth it. So I would love some feedback from you all. You all are my customers out there and I wanna know how to reach you better and how to reach more people. Cause we've just hit a little teeny tiny portion of all of the sewers and quilters out there. So let me know, let me know how you like this giveaway and what you think about the new holes and all of that stuff. So good luck. I hope you win. I know lots of you out there have been entering every single time and hopefully I'll pull your name. Thanks for watching. Have a great Christmas and a wonderful holiday and a happy Kwanzaa. 
and everything else out there too. Whatever it is that you celebrate, celebrate with your family and enjoy and in peace and in love. Thanks for being here.